All right, now while we're out here, we thought this was a perfect opportunity to set a little contest, a little, <laughs> we're challenging you. We're, we're, gonna, not, we're challenging ourselves. We're gonna challenge ourselves. So we're going to challenge ourselves to stay outside 1,000 hours this year. What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure. Oh. Welcome to the next video. She's got stuff all over her. We are currently in sunny Margaritaville, Auburndale, and we are headed to a preserve. A nature preserve. So if you've ever visited Margaritaville, you know that this place right here is amazing. You come to this resort, you don't have to leave. No, yeah. You you literally, you can explore wildlife. You can go to the pool. You can go to playgrounds. You can go play putt-putt. You yep. can do cornhole, pickleball, basketball. Yep. It literally has it all. It does. But we want to go see an alligator. <laughs> Why not? I mean, <laughs> just pick a lake. Pick any body of water in Florida and you can probably find one. <laughs> so, so there is a nature preserve uh, about, about 15 minutes away from Cape Margaritaville. Yep. And it is supposed to have a alligator, at least one, and then of course other wildlife. And it's one of the top rated wildlife areas in Florida. All right. Well, we're gonna go check that out, walking the dogs. Uh, while we're getting ready to roll, here's some more information about Camp Margaritaville. the Anderson blocks, like the buckets, to uh, level our rig, and I'll show you what that looks like. And I have to carry boards around, essentially, with them in order to, um, the, the buckets have to sit flat. So when the board is under them, it's sitting completely flat, it's not sitting on rocks and moving pressure back and forth, so, so the pressure can be even on the bottom. So these are actually something that I found at the Tampa or the Florida RV Super Show. And it's a company that's a fairly new product and it's supposed to replace the Anderson buckets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbox them right now. I can't actually use them until we go to the next location because I'm not gonna hook the rig up just to, to try them. So we're gonna be leaving in about a week or so. I'll use it then, I'll make sure I record it. But what I can do in the meantime is give you guys some information about the pricing how much do they weigh? How much space do they take up? And just do like kind of a comparison between them and the Anderson buckets. So I'm gonna go ahead and open them up. I've been waiting all day to be able to open them. So let's get this started. So there's the blocks and these blocks are kind of like Legos, giant Legos, and there's the pads. So I think these are the pads, but we shall see. And this company sent me six pads and six blocks. I have six buckets, so I figured that was a good place to start. Box blocks pads. Let me see if I can hold that up there for you. This is, they're three quarters of an inch thick. So yeah, that's pretty rigid. I carry, right now I carry uh, boards that are cut like 12 by 12. So like little pieces of plywood. So right now I carry those around. Um, and it looks like this, this is six of these, uh, which is good because on my toy hauler, we have six jacks. So that'll work. All right, let's, now for the big one. Now, one of the things I first noticed with this, these things are heavy. This is, this is pretty heavy. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna do a weight comparison between the the six of these and the six buckets, just to kind of see how much I'm adding. And I carry my buckets around in the truck. So it's not necessarily weight on the RV itself, but this is, this is pretty heavy. So 
we'll see, uh, let's see what this is like. Oh, that's nice though. That's pretty nice. So this is the ox block and essentially you have the cutout for the foot right here. And it's like a recycled material. It's a lifetime warranty and it's rated up to 10,000 pounds. So one of the cool things about the Anderson buckets is that they come with a lifetime warranty, right? And I was worried about that actually. And I didn't realize these were lifetime warranties. So that's really reassuring. Uh, the other thing is the design underneath, it's like a grid. So kind of maximum strength uh, as you're doing it. So we'll see. All right, so they did send us six of these blocks. Now, the other cool thing is they're not quite as tall as the Anderson bucket, but the cool thing about this is that they are stackable. So if you need a little bit more on the front end, you can stack these up and not have to worry about it. They're pretty solid. And, but if you don't, put all six under the jacks and that would be pretty cool. Now, the one thing I could see potentially being a little bit of an issue that the Anderson bucket has, and I thought it was brilliant, was the fact that they have um, magnets in the top. So you just stick it up to the leg versus trying to kind of guess where the foot's gonna come down. Because I would imagine you don't want the foot to come down on one of these pieces. It needs to come right into that circle. So if there was like a magnet or something right here, maybe an upgrade, I don't know. Or some feedback for you guys. Uh, if there was a magnet going there, so I could just stick this up to the bottom of the foot and then not have to worry about it as I'm doing the auto leveling, that'd probably be a really good addition. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these out. I love that you can stack them so easily. And then I'll show you a side-by-side -side comparison with one of the Anderson buckets, which is probably the more popular, just because they've been out for so long. So let's let's look at an Anderson bucket here. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but two of them are essentially the exact same height as the Anderson bucket. So that's pretty good. Uh, if you want a taller kind of front end, help with that, uh, help with the the sway as you're as you're sitting there, kind of the movement in the rig, then you can stack them up to be just as tall. Now, I will say the drop frame on the RV doesn't always lend itself well to this height. So sometimes I can't use this because when you press auto level, the nose has to come down past level and then go back up. And sometimes these do not allow it to do that. So in those cases, now I can just use one, which would be half the height and give the front uh, travel uh, a little bit or the front legs a little bit more travel space. All right, so the pad If you look at the pad uh, It's wider than that. So that will be good to kind of Really uh, distribute the weight pretty evenly uh, Even if there's rocks under there, it's thick enough to to make sure that it doesn't so. I like it weight wise I'll say they're probably about the same. Actually, I'm gonna go get my scale and I will let you know. Get this thing turned on. All right, let it calibrate there. And let's do the Anderson bucket first. Five point one pounds. And now let's do just one of these. Six point two pounds. All right, so just one of these is heavier than the Anderson bucket. So you are going to double the weight to get the same height as the Anderson bucket. So that is a consideration. We're at 12.3 pounds for two of them. So let's see what that means. If we add all six, we're at 38.1 pounds. So I'm adding 40 pounds. So you can tell, I mean, all together, the, the Anderson buckets were, what was it again? About five pounds. I got six of those, so it's 30. So you're adding eight more pounds, essentially with, uh, with these new ox blocks.
Those of you who have never seen the Anderson trailer blocks uh, or buckets, that's exactly what it is. I got it under the front nose right now. And what that does is it allows you to really just kind of lessen the amount of travel that your, uh, that your jack has to go in order for you to level. And of course, the, the, the less travel you have in your jack, the more stability you're gonna have inside your rig. So we always try to make it a point to uh, essentially try to like take up as much of the space as we can, especially when the nose is, if it's a slant on the, the walkway or the driveway or whatever, and the nose has to be really high, try to try to make up some of that. But I'm really excited this, about these because they're more modular. Um, I will say, like I said, the only thing I think is missing is maybe a magnet so that I can just stick it on the leg and not have to worry about where it drops. But for now, I think that's it. I'm gonna go look up the prices, let you guys know exactly what it's gonna run uh, in the cost comparison between the two. Cost and weight is obviously a consideration. Another consideration you should be thinking about when you buy something like this is how much space does it take up? You can see six of these takes up about the same space as three of these. And I have six of these. Usually they're rolling around the bed of the truck. <laughs> so for the Anderson Blocks six pack, you're gonna spend $285. For a six pack of these, you're gonna spend about $290. So compared price comparison, they're pretty comparable. The one thing I'll say is that you're probably going to, you're getting more lift out of these, out of these six, because it takes two of these essentially to make one of these. So if you're looking at it that way, you know, they are a little bit heavier. It takes a little bit more blocks to get the same kind of lift out of it. Um, but I will say that these feel, the quality of these feel really good. And the fact that you can stack them and they're more modular, um, I think kind of plays plays a role there. Uh, the pads is go are going to run you uh, about 60 bucks. I mean, I, you can spend that in plywood, cutting it up and having to seal it if you don't want it to, you know, if you want to protect it from the elements and stuff like that. But yeah, I, all right, so I'm pretty excited about these. And I guess the next step would be actually using them under the rig. So next time we move, I'll be sure to record that. All right, getting ready to go on our hike. Ready? I am. All right. So what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> we need to plug in the waggle. Oh, yes. So, waggle. Yes. We've had waggle now for a little while. For a couple months. Yeah. And it's been really good. Yeah. I like checking on the pups and making sure the temperature is okay. Yeah. Um, if you look at the box. And it goes right to my phone. Yep. But if you look at the box, it actually tells you what your current temperature is in the rig. Uh, but the phone connects while we're like out and about yep. so that it's not um, so we don't have to worry about them yeah. as much. Check that out. So let me, I want to plug it in though, because I don't have much battery. All right, let's plug it in. We have it part, parked in this little corner. So it's USB. And then this piece is USB-C, and it just goes, I feel, in the middle. And plug it in. Yep, now press the button. Green light means charged. Little smelly face. smelly face. All right, so we actually have full batteries, so we should it would last while we were gone. We ready to go on? I think so. I think yeah. Dale and Angela and everybody's waiting on us. All right, well let's go. Let's go. And if you're interested in Waggle, link below. Get your discount. Know that your dogs are safe while you're gone. Yes, that's you. Yeah. Let's get going. Him. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. This place is busy. 
very busy, not a lot of parking either. You're gonna have to go to some of the overflow parking if you wanna, if you want a space. But down by the center, nice day. Probably not gonna be much parking for you. All right, so it's a trail map. Tell me what, what we got here. Circle B Bar Reserve, Polk, uh, protecting Polk County, um, water, wildlife, and wilderness. He's got the same hairdo I do when I wake up. Yeah, Insects, spiders, butterflies, moths, flowering plants, birds of prey, water birds, reptiles, amphibians, trees and shrubs, and mammals. <laughs> we have bobcats. Yeah. You want to go to the nature center? Let's go. Y'all all want a map? We're going to the reserve. That's the meeting room, so we gotta go that way. <laughs> you don't want me up the side. <laughs> We should try that one again. Can we, all of Can we do a retake? Yeah, no. retake. Nope, that was perfect. No, not at all. Say. Dragonflies. Uh, dragonflies can move each wing independently of others, enabling them to be great flyers. They have the finest vision in the insect world. The eyes of the largest have as many as 30,000 simple eyes in their compounded eye. Oh, this is, this is pretty neat. It looks like a bass. Oh, look, it's got an identification booklet here. You think that's a bass? Yep. Let's see if we can find it. There should be a deal in there. Okay, I gotta say, this is pretty cool. This is way more than what I was expecting. Did you agree? Huh? This is way more than what I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Right. And we're about to go down Alligator Alley. Alligator Alley. There's a snake right above our head. Up there. Hmm? So what are you doing up there? Uh, just hanging out. Getting a view from the tree. With the, the uh, cotton mouth over here. There's a raccoon staring at you too. Okay, what trail are we taking? Alligator Alley, I okay. think. <laughs> yeah. Um, it says that we should see at least an alligator, hopefully. Yeah. I don't know if we're here at the right time of day though. Well, I mean, they like to sunbathe. They do like to sunbathe. It's pretty sunny. It's pretty warm. Yeah. All right, so it's about 73 degrees out. It doesn't feel 73. It's absolutely perfect. Beautiful day. It feels um, cooler because of it being shady. Uh, all these Spanish moss yeah. oak trees. Oh, it's called an oak canopy. What a beautiful, beautiful day. Let's go see our wingspan compared to the eagle. The great bald eagle. Wingspan of 72 to 90 inches. Well, that doesn't tell us what ours is. <laughs> All right, spread your arms. Not even close. Your right, turn. My turn. Oh, almost. All right, now while we're out here, we thought this was a perfect opportunity to set a little contest, a little, <laughs> we're challenging you. We're, we're, gonna, cha we're challenging ourselves. We're gonna challenge ourselves. So we're going to challenge ourselves to stay outside 1,000 hours this year. Yes. So yeah, it is a little later in the year. Sorry in advance. But if you already have like an Apple Watch where it tracks your activity and you've already done activities outside, mm -hmm. go ahead and log those hours. It's, it's okay um, yeah. to you know backlog a little bit. But from this point forward, we're going to be tracking on a Google Doc our hours for um, 2024 yep. and just try to get a thousand hours outside. That can be taking a walk, going on a bike ride, playing basketball, swimming in the pool, whatever. Yep. Just being out of the house um, in nature for a thousand hours a year. Yep, something just moved behind us. Anyways, uh, so look at the link below in the description of this video. There will be a link to the document where we're going to be tracking our hours. We want mm -hmm. you to join in and do it too. Yes. There's no prize, there's nothing like that, but it's just, let's let's build each other up. It's a sense of accomplishment. Get a thousand hours outside this year. And then, you know, at the end of the year, right, you got a sense of accomplishment. It's gonna be really fun. Yeah. I think you can do it. I think so too. Let's go. One additional thing 
as I'm while I'm thinking about it. Take some pictures of yourself and your loved ones while you're outside. Be sure to post them on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you post the most, and use hashtag 1000 hours. The number one, zero, zero, zero hours. Hashtag 1000 hours. And that way we can follow your journey too. And we'll be doing the same throughout the year. You having a good time? Mm -hmm. We left all, like, we literally held the, all of our friends up. They, they left us. <laughs> Everybody has those YouTuber friends. <laughs> Just fall behind everywhere you go. So it's roughly half a mile to the lake. So not too far if you're just kind of wanting to walk to the lake from the center. Um, you know, there's obviously way more trails than that and we're gonna do some more, but just initially get to the lake, it's about half a mile. seen lots of birds, a raccoon, trash panda, but no alligators on Alligator Alley. So we'll see. Maybe. Maybe it's too cool. So, I don't know. There's an alligator on Alligator Alley. <laughs> there you go. You're bright. What do you think so far? I think this is an amazing place. This is a great hike. And we saw an we, alligator. <laughs> we did see an alligator, but we've also saw somebody with like a walker. So Oh yes, and so it's people you can bike out here. They, they have like the little scooters that you set down in instead of setting up one have been out here. Some of the walkers been out here. Yep. Strollers. So. Big, big wide flat trail. So yeah. that's good. And like the places that are a little rough, they have like little bridges. Yeah. Um, so it makes it nice. Yeah, so but, definitely. Oh, look at the leaves. I would say it's handicap accessible. What about you? I think we had a successful day. That is not what I said. I saw these pretty leaves and then just lost her. <laughs> I said it was handicap accessible. Oh yes, it is handicap accessible. <laughs> sorry, my focus needs more focus. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's been lots of birdies for her to take pictures of. I'm Pose coming them. until there's a bird with his wings out drying. Like he just. You know what I what I realized we haven't told people. What? Um, how much it costs. Free. It was free. It was free to come in. Yeah. They do take donations. And you can get on the list for their like email lists um, so that you can get your events and monthly newsletters from them. Right. Um, but no cost to come in and park and just yeah. walk. It's a free, it's nice. free preserve. We do like free. He's not moving. Uh, one thing to caution you of, there are no porta potties or bathrooms along this trail. It has your palm trees. It has Spanish moss for Nick. Yep. It's got the Everything. turtles and the alligators and all the birds um, for the rest of us. 
It, it did not disappoint. No. It, it was actually, it far exceeded my expectations for just walking around in a park. Right, and then we actually only did one trail and there's like seven trails. And that trail was, a, I think, a little over two miles long. Yeah, it was pretty long. So, but, but flat, completely flat. Yeah, definitely handicap accessible. Um, there are a few like routes that you have to look out for on the sandy side by the alligators, but the middle of it is perfectly fine. So you just gotta be careful on the right. edges. Um, but yeah, it was far exceeding of what we expected. Um, we came just to you know do some wildlife photography and got way much, way more. Way more. All right, well, if you like this video, make sure you get a thumbs up. If you really like it, make sure you subscribe. Ring the bell so you get notified when we release our next video. Until the next strange adventure. Keep making your own.